What's up guys? So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can clear the storage that old iMovie projects take up on your computer. Now if you're watching this video you've probably realized that just simply clicking delete inside of iMovie itself doesn't actually delete the project from the hard drive and all the space is still taken up. Luckily there's a way to solve that issue and quickly get rid of the storage that's there for no reason. So to show that this works I'm going to quickly show you how many gigabytes of storage I have on my computer. So if I just click on the Apple icon about this Mac and then I go to storage it says that we currently have 3.64 gigabytes available. Now instead of going to iMovie itself and deleting this project Java to Python what we're actually going to do is open up the finder. So to do that what you can do is just press the command key and space they're side by side and then type in the word finder and press enter. Now once you're inside of here you're going to scroll down on the side window and you should see something that says Macintosh HD. This is the hard drive of your computer and it has everything that's saved on your computer inside of here. So now once you see these options you're going to click on users and then click on the user profile that all of the iMovie projects are saved inside of. Once you click on that you're going to see a folder that says movies and you're going to double click that folder and you should see two icons in here. So one of them is going to say iMovie Library, the other will say iMovie Theater. So now all of your iMovie projects are actually stored inside of the iMovie Library. But what you'll notice about this icon is that if you double click it, instead of navigating inside of the folder, it's just going to take you back to iMovie itself, which is not what we want to happen. So instead of double clicking it, what we're going to do is press the control key and then click. And then you should see some options that come up and you're going to click on the option that says show package contents to navigate inside of that folder and in here you're going to see a bunch of blue folders each one representing an old project that you worked on inside of iMovie. Now like I mentioned earlier the project we're going to be deleting is called Java to Python so let's quickly find that in here and it's right there and if you want to find out how much space a project is taking up just simply click on it once to highlight it and then press command I and you should see a new window that pops up showing you how much space that project is taking up. So as you can see this folder is taking up 865 megabytes. So deleting it should give us that much storage back. Now one thing I do want to clarify is in order to regain all of that storage you need to make sure that the original video files that were used inside of the project are already deleted. So if you imported it from an SD card or from an external hard drive, then you don't have to worry about it. But if, for example, you screen recorded the video and then imported it into iMovie, you need to make sure you delete the original file that you put inside of iMovie. Because once you import it into iMovie, if you delete it from wherever it used to be, it'll still remain in iMovie. But if you keep it somewhere else on your computer and then you delete it from iMovie, the other location for where the original file was saved will still remain on your hard drive. So now that we know how much space this project takes up on our computer, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply press Control and then click on that folder, and then we're gonna click on Move to Trash. Once it gets moved to the trash can, you should hear a sound effect indicating that it's been moved successfully. And then if you click on the trash can icon down here on the bottom, you should see that folder inside of here. Now just to ensure that everything gets cleared up successfully, I'm gonna just quickly reopen that storage window to show how much storage we have so right now we have 3.42 it went down because i'm recording a video so it's like slowly going down as the video gets longer but yeah we're at 3.42 gigabytes and now if i click on empty and then it's going to ask if you're sure just click on empty trash you should see that it's going to take some time and now we've jumped back up to 4.48 gigabytes so we've regained just under a gigabyte of storage back now we're almost done, like now the folder is successfully deleted, but we have to fix it inside of iMovie itself. So I'm going to quickly quit iMovie and then I'm going to reopen it back up. And when you reopen iMovie, it's basically going to tell you that the iMovie library has been damaged, which is because we deleted something manually from there. So as you can see, it gives us this little pop up window saying the library iMovie library is damaged. And to fix it, all we have to do is click this blue button, give it a few seconds to fix it from iMovie's end, and then it will reload and be good to go. So as you can see, it's validating. It'll take a little while to fix it all up. 
and then everything will be perfectly normal. And there you have it guys, that is all there is to it. If this method worked for you, I would really appreciate a like on the video so that other people facing this problem can get their issue fixed as well. If you ran into any problems during the course of this video, be sure to leave a comment down below so I can help you fix whatever step you got stuck on. And also, if you want to learn how to get rid of other unnecessary space taking up storage on your Mac, I'm coming out with a video on that very, very soon. And if you're watching this in the future, then that video is probably out and I'll have a link for it down in the description. So be sure to check that out if your Mac is filling up on storage and you want to clear up some of that unnecessary space. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.